Brian College Station, Texas, where Texas A&M is looking to build on their best start to a season since 2017. That's the last time they went to Oklahoma City. It's game two between the Aggies and the Auburn Tigers. Oh, but some of those power hitters haven't been producing those big numbers like we're used to in years past. Ground ball right side for Rylan Wiggins, and there's one out. But you want something that can try to get a hitter to chase, and that's what she does. Off the end of the bat, right to Kennedy Powell at third base. It's been a great start here. The hitter out. This is hit hard into deep center field. Woolers is on the board for Auburn. A big swing for Anna Woolers. Her third of the season, and similar to yesterday, Auburn takes a 1-0 lead. And this down and away pitch, I mean, so pretty, right? The extension through the zone, that is a very beautiful swing. Not a really bad spot, honestly, Chucky. It hits a corner, but she just takes it dead center. Sometimes with pitchers, you just have to tip your cap. Now five combined home runs this year. They hit 30 combined last year. Woolers, of course, was at DePaul. That's a big swing for her, just her third of the season, but maybe a chance to get her going as Nelia Peralta flies out to center field. Which might make what they've done even more impressive the way they've started and maintained success. Nice play at second base and a little flip from Rose Roach for out number one. E12 on the season and now it's Amari Harper's turn. Round ball left side, backhand, throw across and a nice scoop over there at first by Amelia Leck on the throw from Peralta. Eight home runs on the season for Hill. 0 for three last night. This is ripped down the left field line. It's gonna be extra bases for Hill. A two out double, this team has been Ridiculous with two outs this season. Series win to start the season. To start the conference play season, I should say. And it waits on that one. It's stabbed at third by Weidra. That was a missile. Auburn, though, will win the battle, though. Ackerman's 3-2. A great swing, but stabbed at third base by Powell. 3-2 count. Got the inside corner. Strikeout number one for... Couple home runs in game three against Mizzou, a game they won. That's been the recipe for Auburn, and I'm not sure it's one they want to continue. They'd like to snap it today as Leck reaches, but right-hand pitcher and utility player out of Hoover, Alabama. Offs this one into deep center field. Jasmine Hill goes back and makes the catch. A two-out walk. I'm out. Repeat yourself. Like, I need to be able to put up the same numbers, and you're never going to be what you were. And I think that's the biggest thing. Really nice grab at second base by Rose Roach. She's made a couple nice plays for Penta out there. Sometimes hear things you don't want to hear, and it's, it's a tough transition. Swings through it. First strikeout of the day for Penta, number 796 of her career. And she's just able to create this power and momentum with her body using the ground. That makes a pitch like that look dangerous when she's coming in at 73 miles an hour. Untouchable, it seems like. We were talking off the air this week as the bunt gets laid down. Really nice one and an infield single for the nine hole Abby Smith. And that's elite level stuff. Slow roller for out number one after what Smith thought was the game for the pitchers because it's the hardest part of the game. Another bunt, Auburn playing small ball. That's taking, no, it's safe at first. They're saying Packer is safe at first base. I can hear people in the crowd saying <laughs>
And that's all it's going to take in the third. A 10-pitch inning as Rose Roach grounds out to first base herself. And it's hard to get a piece of it, but if you can, it's definitely can go. 8-9-1, Eshte swinging first pitch right on cue. Into the left center field gap. Eshte headed for second, and she's got a leadoff stand-up double. Swing and miss. Second full count for Penta. Upstairs, Powell went and got it in a shallow center field. Two coming on and almost collided. That was dangerous. Packer and Tresvik coming together. Their gloves. Wants to get ahead with the fast. That one gets away from Wooler's behind the plate, and Eshte is up to third. Yeah. One, two count instead. Go down, chopper right side, coming home, safe at the plate. A great slide from Eshte to tie things at one. Really good, hitting the ball to the right side, even knowing that the infield is pulled in. Finds a way to get in so much speed. Eshte down the line. This was no doubt about it. Your goal as a left-handed hitter with a runner on third. I want to hit it to the right side all day. She executes, ties up this ball game. A little half-hearted check swing there, and it's going to be a ground out to third base. Woolley takes third. That's how much speed she has. And it's just a softball IQ piece. Her just knowing enough that she sees that throw and she believes that she can beat Weidra back to three in time. Listen, there's a lot of action that has to happen to execute a play like that. Weidra has to get back to the base. Close for sure, but I just love the heads up play. This is upheld, the runner left on time. The play at third base was also challenged. That play is also upheld. She's right zone in there's a lot of actions stuff completely out of your control that can sometimes get you out of your zone but it just goes to show right there three big pitches three four five here in the fourth inning Wooler's underneath it foul territory is caught by Cottrell for one out and not what they wanted Couple looks, Daniel. I thought it looked like, hey, she might have had her. I just yeah. don't know that it was indisputable as Woolley retires Nelia Peralta, shortstop to shortstop. And I would say maybe that's the one thing about. <laughs> Very well taken care of here at Texas AM. That's caught at third base. The hot corner has nice to see Emily Kennedy again as Penta gets strikeout number four. Yeah, I, I think we're... And I think Shelby Lowe, and correct me if I'm wrong, Daniel, I think she is so key to Auburn's hopes, especially in the postseason well, as Cottrell walks. She definitely did. That's incredible. Want first base side, nice coverage there by Roach at first base, and Leck throws it over to her for out number two. I'm, look at this. Sure, <laughs> just making sure. Okay, all right. I'm coming for you now, Lori. <laughs> Line Bring shot it. right at the shortstop, Peralta. Trish Four said, hey, we got to go up, down, change. And that needs to be the go-to, knowing that your curve is still your best pitch. So essentially what they did is that they took the curveball. This is crushed high in the air, shallow center, just really high and caught by Jasmine Hill. When I asked Coach Trish Ford when they had played Mississippi State that last game, the zone, how those young ladies are very fortunate to be able to learn from her. High in the air to right field, caught there, a one, two, three inning. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Monica. Yep. yep. She has over 2,000. Chopper through the middle of the infield. That touched the clouds. <laughs> means potentially more susceptible in. Off speed, got her. So is that. And that's number 800.
Woolley ahead 2-0. High chopper left side and into left field. Este rounds third. The throw is not in time. And Texas A&M leads. That's two hits this inning, Chucky, where Texas A&M has utilized the hard ground, gotten the big time hops, and that one getting right over Peralta's head, who was pinched in a little bit, playing more in than normal. But that's because of Coco Woolley's speed, and she can drop that bunch. She has that. It's so smart. Strikeout on the outside corner for Penta, sixth of the game, and now there's two outs. Marcus, who, who plays at Georgia, she's five foot five coming from the left side, and she's successful. It's not one size fits all, and that to me is my favorite part. Strikeout number seven for Penta, but another run. A ton of wheels. And a quick out. Abby Smith, the nine hole, retired on one pitch from. Backs off, but it's where her toes are at. There's ball four anyway. You have it at the back, but. Through the left side, base hit here with one out. Auburn trying to mount something in the sixth. This different level of confidence that you have in the game. Well, right side, stepped on first. Not gonna get Roach going to second base though as she slid under the tag. With as the game goes on, if your name is called in a situation like this. Crofts it into shallow center field, actually on the infield, and it's gonna be caught by Ryland Wiggins to end the threat. Aggie baseball shirt with all the traditions. From that side of things, is this is sent into the sky by Cannon and caught casually by Nelia Peralta. 73 average coming into this weekend on the change. There it Stays is. with it and caught a diving catch by Abby Smith in left. The sack bunt back in the fourth. Guide into right field and deep from Enright. It's back and it's gone. Allie Enright delivers her seventh home run of the season off Maddie Penta. Something about swinging early in the count is just too sweet. And has that good pop. Right center just takes it. Man, she's been such a fun hitter to watch, really. Just how she's continued to evolve, but more importantly, put up one of the best years. Ninth home run allowed by Penta on the season. This is hit well in the left, but right at Abby Smith for out number three. Allie Enright, really nice when your six hole leads you in all kinds of offensive categories. Oklahoma City history, Emily Carasoni, the walk off grand slam as that's caught by Coco Woolley for the first out. Ackerman two outs away. Shaley looking for her sixth win of the season. Chopper left side. Powell takes care of it. Harper scoops it up over at first base. Two two. Leck deep to left center field. That is way out of here. Amelia Leck not ready to let go. Cuts it to a one run lead. Letting the crowd know about it, too. Well, and this is where the Allie Enright home run is clutch last inning. And it was the pitch before that you know Ackerman wanted, and it didn't get called, but Leck just unleashes. Gosh, I wish I knew the data. I want to know how far this went. I want to know the exit velo. She got a hold of this thing. 57 average on the year. Ground ball right side, this could do it, and it does. 
The solo home run by Leck is all they get in the seventh as Ackerman finishes the job and the crowd is loving it. enough about Texas A&M right now. That performance tonight by Ackerman and only giving up the three hits. This was a clean ball game. No errors by any of these teams. We're under two hours. I don't know if as you do a shout out to the pitch clock because that definitely plays a factor, but just such a good clean game.